what's up guys? It's Brian here from Full Body Athletics. So every day I see people at my gym uh, wanting to do sit-ups, but unfortunately they can't for many reasons. They don't have the core strength, they don't have the mobility. Maybe they're too overweight or their stomach is like pushing off so they can't really come all the way up. If it's not a problem of obesity or just being overweight, I'm gonna show you guys a simple sit-up progression so that you can do a full sit-up, okay? So first and foremost, what is a what is a real sit-up, a proper sit-up? Let me show you. So, first things first, when you're doing a real sit-up, the first thing you gotta do is obviously lay down on the floor. So that's exactly what we're gonna do here. I want you guys to rest on your backs, okay, shoulders on the floor. Now, what I want you guys to do, okay, for a real sit-up, you're gonna keep your knees bent. However, there are different stances, right? You can keep your knees bent, you can even keep your legs open if you want. You can keep your legs open while bringing in your feet like CrossFit style. Whichever way, it's okay, all right? But for today's sake of today's video, I'm gonna show you guys the traditional sit-up, all right? So what I want you guys to do and the mistakes people do is that when they're doing sit-ups, they're strictly using their core, which is a good thing. That's what you wanna do for a full abdominal contraction. However, what I'm gonna give you as a hint today is to try to push off the heels a bit. You see, see my heels on the floor here? What I want you guys to do is as you're raising up, you're gonna push off the heels to give yourself just a bit more momentum. So what I want you guys to do here is we're gonna start off shoulders on the floor. Your hands are gonna stay on your legs. What I want you guys to do is once again, push off the heels up, all the way up, touch the ankle and come all the way down. Repeat that same pattern up, touch the ankle, and then all the way down, all right? So that is a proper sit-up. As a beginner, if you're having a hard time because you lack core strength, you can start by doing sit-ups by simply keeping your knees up like so. And what I want you guys to do is once again, keep your hands on your knees, and you're gonna bring up your torso, touch your ankle, and come down. Up, touch, and down, all right? The mistakes a lot of people do here is that they're bringing up their head, but they're not crunching with their stomach. Use that crunch. Come up, push the ankle, and down. All right? Now, once you get that done, and you can do at least 20 reps for three sets, I'm gonna show you guys the second progression using an elastic. Things first, what I want you guys to use here, you're gonna take a bar, okay? So typically like a, any bar that can help you do a pull up or a chin up is fine, okay? From here, you're gonna put one or two elastics depending on your strength, okay? If you have no strength, go for two elastics with different weights, okay? This one, for example, the green one is 20 pounds of weight of pressure. This is 40 pounds, all right? So use the weight that goes better for your level. You can start off with the 40, and then eventually after maybe three weeks, you can move on to the 20, and eventually no weights at all, no elastics at all. So what I want you guys to do for this progression is very simple. We're gonna sit down more eloquently than I just did right now, okay? And what I want you guys to do here is very simply, I don't know if you see my back, what I want you guys to do here is come from a sit up here, and what I want you guys to do is using the elastic, you're gonna come all the way up, and down. Come all the way up and down. Come all the way up and down. And just like that. That's a simple technique that you can use for your sit-up progression. Using an elastic, it's really, really good. So start with the knee sit-ups and then go to the elastic sit-ups. Hopefully you guys enjoy this beautiful video. I know crunches is not easy. Okay, if the problem is overweightness, then you can always write me an email and I'll draft you a nice diet according to your needs. Guys, once again, if you have questions, you can send me an email on fullbodyathletics at gmail.com. You can follow me on Instagram for more tips and tricks, fullbody underscore athletics, okay? Or you can also follow me on Facebook, Full Body Athletics. Enjoy your beautiful day. Don't forget, like and subscribe. Don't be like that, all right? Enjoy them. Be good. Ciao.